folks! Welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today is my third build log on my musical instrument, the dodecahedron, where I continue on the drum shells. Barb Makes Things! So this week I continued with the ply drum that I started last week, and it was similarly difficult. The layers I put on this time were easier, though still problematic. It's not a surprise, wood bending is difficult. This outside part's to be expected. I plan to cut that out, but I'm having one problem here. As this dried without the ball holding it in place, because it, the ball was keeping it from drying entirely, the glue didn't keep it in place. Uh, and then there are a few cracks here, so I'm gonna have to try to fill these guys in. I'll continue with this, but I doubt I'll be making many of these for the finished instrument. The pentagonal prism drum shells were an entirely different matter. It's precision work to get them fitting properly, but very doable. The pieces all had the correct angle, but weren't exactly the same length, because that's kind of tough to do with this method. So I put tape on the belt sander as a reference to keep the angle the same, and then sanded them down until they were the correct size. Then I finally got to use those cool clamp jigs that I made last week, and they worked a treat. Before the actual blew up, I tested the pieces out with clamps. Looks good. I used scraps of thin wood that was lying around to cut little pieces that would protect my drum from harsh clamps. As with the ply drum mold, I covered them with aluminum foil to keep the wood glue from permanently attaching them to the drum shell. Let them set overnight, and voila! I put a chamfer on the top and bottom of this with a hand plane. Ultimately, I took it to the belt sander to finish, which feels a little bit like cheating, but it's quick, and I got too much to do, so power tools. Now you might have picked up on this, but it took me until I was thinking about cutting the pieces for the second Pentagon drum shell before I realized it. I did the first one the hard way, like almost the hardest way possible. There is a much, much quicker way to get the exact lengths and angles that I needed. And I kicked myself when I realized it because I've done it before. This is all you have to do. Measure, clamp a block, ensure that the blade is perfectly vertical, which I did have to adjust on this one. Then line it up with the block and cut. At least I realized it after the first drum and not the tenth. Of course, the more precise pieces went together much easier and gave a more even result. So yeah, I'll be doing that for the others. My next step is going to be to make hardware and put heads on these drums. I have a few different types I want to try. We'll get to that next week. Progress. A lot still to do, but progress. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how-tos. There are a lot of them.
Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.